Last week, the LPGA Tour was in Alabama for the Yokohama Tire LPGA Classic. No one could have been looking forward to the week more than defending champion Chris Tomales, returning to the side of her career highlight in Prattville last year. Her first LPGA victory in over a decade of playing on tour. I knew it had been a long time, but it wasn't something that was, to me, was going to make or break my career. Um, I felt that I had kept my card and been out here and made a nice living for myself for 11 years. Chris had to work hard for her long-awaited maiden victory. The unpredictable Alabama weather resulted in two long rain delays, leaving the tournament well behind schedule and the prospect of a marathon final day. Sunday, I woke up and I knew that I had a ton of holes to play. We had 29 and I had a great group and I was like, okay girls, like we can do it. We just need to drink a lot. We need to eat a lot and keep our energy up and we were kind of doing the countdown. And I just kept making birdies and kept giving myself awesome positions to make birdie. Well, she kept on making birdies until the penultimate hole when an unexpected win suddenly came into sight. That was another really heartbreaking putt that I wasn't really worried about it. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't watching the scoreboard. There was a scoreboard right there and I did not look at it once. I didn't want to see. After powering the last for a brilliant round of 65, Chris had to wait 45 minutes for the former world number one Yanni Tseng and rising star Austin Ernst to finish. They both miss birdie chances to force a playoff. Good job. And it was official, Tamales was finally an LPGA winner. The coolest thing for me was all of the people that reached out. I think every single girl on tour, their caddy and their parents came up and gave me a hug and told me congratulations. I had texts from other girls on tour that said that they were inspired by my win and you know that they felt like they, you know, that was something that they could do too. That debut win came at the age of 34. Contrast that with the average age of 2016 tournament winners nearing the middle of this season, which is only just over 20 years of age. I feel like I'm still learning a lot about myself, um, about my game, my swing, what I have to do in order to be successful, and they kind of come out with that. The experience that they have coming out at 16, 17 is far more than what I had until probably 10 years after that. Chris knows it's now harder than ever before to add another trophy to her LPGA resume, but that's not something she'll dwell on instead being thankful for what she does have. Looking back on it, it and I do have that win, it means so much to me. Um, some people play their entire career and never win, and I don't, uh, I mean, I could have been that person and I would have been okay with it, but now that I do have it, I'm like, wow, that is so cool.